Welcome to New York Studios, where you can watch us and make the news. Today I'm talking, talking to Kurt Zakrakal from the Medical University of Graz, who's going to be talking about the projects that you're involved in which could change the way that we do medicine. Perhaps you could explain. Yeah, actually, I was involved in planning the European roadmap for research infrastructures, and because I'm a medical doctor, so I was involved in the infrastructures for biology and medicine, mm -hmm. and medicine more and more relies accessing research infrastructure, and individual countries cannot afford anymore, so we have to coordinate investment into this infrastructure. And then I w became uh, the coordinator of the planning of one of those infrastructures, which should secure the access to one of the key resources for the advancement of medicine. And essentially it's about all the human biological samples uh, we collect during healthcare and all the medical data. And that's a key resource essentially for the development of any diagnostic or a new drug. So you cannot develop these things without accessing these resources. And, and so now one of the big challenges we have, how building up this resource then stimulates innovation. And uh, we are now also exploring how this model we developed for Europe, which just gets started because this infrastructure was implemented as an ERIC this year, uh, whether this model is also relevant for places outside of Europe, and uh, particularly exploring opportunities for Africa. And uh, there a very interesting opportunity is emerging because Africa will meet major health challenges in the future. Uh, but they need uh, very specific approaches to tackle these challenges. So at the end, uh, Africa would need a pharma industry that specifically develops drugs designed to cope with the health challenges. Because if, if I recall correctly, there is a case where a lot of medicine is, is essentially designed for Caucasians. Yeah. And you're looking to make a more general version and localized versions available. Is that a simple way of explaining uh, it? Uh, no, I think it's different. It's more generally how we come up with a new type of innovation in the healthcare. And there we are facing a couple of challenges. First of all is where does the information come from? What are the new needs for new drugs, better drugs? It comes for understanding human diseases. Uh, so that's, that's a key resource to be provided by this infrastructure. But then uh, we are working on concept how this information translates into new products. And uh, here we are exploring new ways of innovation, particularly uh, utilizing all the knowledge that is available in the context of open innovation. Uh, and I think this model would particularly suit the situation in Africa. It's not about building huge factories, it's about integrating what is available to deliver new products. So, I mean, would there, would there be a case of, say, this could end up with more local, generic, cheaper medicines for people? Uh, I wouldn't say local. At, at the end, I'm it's, it, local, it's, it's like global, but you can ex better exploit local capabilities by integrating. If you are not anymore restricted to a huge single-sided facility or factory, you can much, much better integrate local capabilities. So research will become much more distributed, more virtual, and it's about integrating these elements into an innovation process. So you're also talking really about bringing the, the, the intellectual capital of Africa into a, more of a global kind of debate and discussion about right. medicine. And the right. Medicine. And it, it's not just about Africa, it's about global no. because essentially the health challenges are global ones with different flavors, yeah? yeah? But it's about really how we can integrate all the knowledge that is, is emerging from all the investment made into research that these now can be utilized for driving innovation. And, and the big challenge here is also how we can make bridges between silos we have currently in the research landscape. Uh, and it's not just about biology, it's medicine, how we can link up with ICT yeah? uh, and those other fields, social sciences, humanities, even astronomy is, is an issue. Yeah? We were just discovering very common challenges uh, astronomy or, or space science is facing, for instance, in developing very long-term goals like a 100-year Starship program. Yes. Yeah? Because they have to tackle the, the issue to build a fully autonomous healthcare system. 
that's quite a challenge uh, yeah. for, so. for a European economy to make a, a, a healthcare system for what you're talking about in, in uh, potential space travel, etc. Yeah. That, yeah. That's much good. Now, what I'd like to ask you, because we, we are a little bit short on time right now, is how are the European institutions doing at facilitating this global conversation that you're looking at? Um, How are we doing in, in practice? Yeah, in practice. Uh, it's all about people. You have to bring the people together. Uh, we are still facing the challenges that the funding systems do not really cooperate. It's not easy how to integrate fundings, how to coordinate also the, the peer review and the evaluation process. Yeah? Yes. Because at the end, things have to fit together like puzzles, which have to, to at the end, fit to one common picture. And, and here still, uh, the coordination is, uh, is, is not that developed as we would like to see it. Okay. Uh, but finally, before we, before we finish, is there anything specific that you would be looking for Europe to provide or to plug into this? Uh, it's, um, I think, um, even within Europe, I think we should build stronger bridges between the different funding instruments and stream funding streams. It's very important. I think here we could explore enormous added value. The other thing is, for instance, so much knowledge that is produced by these funding programs is not accessible. So we, we have to improve the accessibility of the knowledge generated in the European R&D uh, environment. Okay. So that's using kind of, a, as a word, the word open, relating right. to the old ICT thing of open source. We're looking at open data. We're looking at, at, at open collaboration and a more coherent funding stream. Is, is right. That more open, more collaborative, and placing more emphasis also on the pre-competitive dimension, the pre-competitive -com uh, scenario. Because when you're competitive, you have some roadblocks for collaboration. The more you can do in this pre-competitive environment, the easier it is to collaborate to develop joint forces. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. So it's quite clear that the more we can cooperate, the more we can get systems working together, the exponential value for everyone increases from that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your thank time. You. Thank you.